Hello everybody, this is Craig from Nine Volt Games, and today I'm going to do a review for, you just saw it, Super Mario 3D World. And if he can wear animal ears, so can I. Happy Halloween. Anyways, so this video, fucking, never mind. This game is my favorite Mario game, as of now. See, at first, I liked the 3D games, and then Super Mario Sunshine came out, and that game was fucking garbage. I didn't realize that he was a, a janitor doing community service. But, uh... So, as you can see, I'm on Star Road, which is the equivalent. I just beat this game last night, finally. And uh, this is a temporary view, by the way. But, as far as the 3D games go, Super Mario 64 was amazing. I think Sunshine sucked. Galaxy was okay. Galaxy 2 was a masterpiece. That is my favorite, one of my favorite games of the last generation. That's my favorite Mario game up until this one. And then they came out with 3D Land on 3DS. And I was like, oh my god, what could get better than this? And then they put this out on the, uh, the Wii U. As far as Mario games go, the gameplay is extremely tight. They have the camera locked in to one position, depending on what plane you're on. You can rotate it slightly, but it's not free camera, which means you don't have a lot of camera issues in this game. That also plays into finding the stars, which are generally off camera. Um, let me jump in here real quick without Luigi. When I was playing with my girlfriend, I was actually using Peach. I do like that they had, you know, Mario, Luigi, and Peach instead of having Mario, Luigi, and then two fucking Toads, because that doesn't make any sense. So basically they have the Super Mario Bros. 2 lineup. There's a lot of Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 3 infused in here. And then as you can see, this is, you know, a little bit of Galaxy thrown in here. But this, this is just Star Road. So this is what you get after you beat the game. Uh, there's plenty of challenges to do. But as far as playing straight through the game, it's fairly easy. It's, you know, what you would expect from a Mario game. I would have liked the difficulty to be just a little bit harder. But like I said, there's a lot of challenges in finding every star. Um, if you're a perfectionist, it's a great game. Um, and what I appreciate about this is that Mario games that keep coming out, they make you want to accomplish all these things, like finding all the stars, and there's no achievements or trophies to hook you in. So it's just purely based off the fun of the game. Uh, the cat suit is a lot of fun. It adds an awesome element to the fact that you can climb walls. Uh, let's just start a level real quick and watch me get dominated in this Rainbow Road. Star Road, Rainbow Road, whatever. Like I said, fixed angle. You can rotate slightly. No! Did it? Come on. I'm sitting very close and it's a pain in the ass. There's that cat. Like I said, climbing the walls. That's a whole other uh, dimension to climb the game. Especially since it plays into a lot of the star challenges. This is blowing my mind right now because I can't see. <laughs> So yeah, I just demoed the game in a very awesome fashion. Let's go do this. And not get rid of that. Let's go back and do an easy level. Consider I'm sitting so close and about to fucking go blind. You can go to your world map. You can jump to any world that you have uh, currently unlocked. For world one, make it very simple. This is easy. This one's all about the cat suit. That's all people really care about in here. Uh, the Bowser fight is awesome in this game. I don't want to give away too much if you haven't beaten it. But if you have, all I can say is Kitty Cat Bowser. Look out of here. Already got the stars in here, so I don't have to worry about any of that. This is where it lets you change the camera just slightly to see stars. There's a stamp up there. Usually bunnies have stars on them. Still good one up, but I already got it, so. Oop. 
Alright. Oh yeah, there's something up here. There we go. Giant mushroom. Come back here. Be careful when you take your giant mushroom, because you can break pipes. Or you can ruin pipes. But you can break green pipes. Oh, and this is a cheap thing. You can be here, use the cat to climb all the way to the pole. Cheap. <laughs> but I enjoy the game. Very easy to play. Fun to play with uh, two people. I haven't played it before. Me and my girlfriend played it. We almost beat it together. Um, I went off solo and played it because my girlfriend's got a case of the pregnancy. So it's not as easy to play games right now. That doesn't make sense when I say it, but it does. It makes sense. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, the game is fun. The level designs are awesome. Um, there's a lot of throwbacks to Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, Super Mario World, and like I said, Galaxy. So basically it takes all the great games and just mashes them together. Um, and it was, uh, I'm, I'm really glad they did the test run with 3D Land because I have a feeling if 3D Land flopped, this game would have never came out. But I didn't really like new Super Mario Brothers U. I don't like the remakes of the, you know, the new Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Brothers 2, and the U. I think the 3D games that are made on the 2D plane, side scrollers, should be left on the handhelds. But it doesn't matter what I say because you can't take me seriously because it's a fucking thing. Thank you for watching.